Hello viewers, this is Dow Too Fast here. Now a couple of videos ago I did a repair on this Hyundai Elantra where there was a misfire in one of the cylinder. In that video I found out it was a bad spark plug, I replaced it and that fixed the problem. But the spark plug that was bad that I pulled out was recently replaced the month before. And that got me thinking because spark plugs shouldn't fail like this after only about a month. After some research online I figured out the four spark plugs that I bought online and installed into this vehicle were actually fake NGK spark plugs. In this video, I'll show you a side-by-side -side comparison between a set of real NGK spark plugs and a set of fake NGK spark plugs. I'll also go over a couple things you can check to see if your spark plugs are real or fake. So let's get started. So right here are two boxes of NGK Iridium spark plugs. Now I can tell you one of them is a genuine NGK spark plug and the other one is a fake counterfeit. As you can see the boxes look identical. Let's look at the side. The top. The back. Let's open this up. Here are the spark plugs. If you look at the packaging, again, they look very similar, pretty much the same. Even the barcode has the same number. Now there are some minor differences. So for example, this one has made in Japan and then there's a website below that. On this one, it just says Main Japan, but there's nothing below that. Also, the yellow triangle right here has sharp corners, and this yellow triangle has round corners. Now open this up. As you can see, both look very similar and it can be difficult to figure out which one's real and which one's fake. So let me go ahead and tell you, the one on the left is the authentic NGK spark plug and the one on the right is actually the fake counterfeit one. But let me give you a closer look of these two spark plugs. Now from a distance, they both look identical. But if you put it side by side, there are some differences with the dimension. So for example, on the end here, the real NGK is a little bit wider than the fake one. Also, the text on the ceramic on the fake one is darker and on the real one is actually lighter. They both say NGK IR and at the back is stamped the model number of the spark plug. Now if you rotate this, you'll notice on this one there's a series of numbers here. This is actually the manufacturer lot number and is unique with each batch of spark plugs. If you look on the fake one, as I rotate this, there are no numbers stamped on the side. If you take this number here and contact NGK support on their website, they'll verify if this spark plug is genuine or not. The response is also very quick. After I contacted them and gave them this number, I got a response back in about an hour. In this email, they tell me the NGK spark plug I have is genuine. Now, this is not the only way you can tell whether it's real or not because I've heard there are some fake NGK spark plugs that they do stamp a number on the side but they use the same number for all their spark plugs. Now if I put this side by side, you'll see where my thumb is at the bottom here. This collar here is actually a bit longer than the authentic one. So again, the dimension is slightly different, but the differences are very subtle. They both have a stamping on here for Japan. Below that, you have the crush washer. And here's a look at the iridium tip. You'll notice the shape of that electrode at the very bottom right here do differ slightly. This one seems to arch over a little bit more than the real NGK spark plug. So the danger of installing one of these fake NGK spark plugs in your vehicle can be premature failure after like 5,000 miles or 10,000 miles, or possibly a spark plug can just fall apart inside your engine. The spark plug tip might break off. The ceramic part might break off. As you can imagine, if this happens, it can cause a lot of damage to your engine. 
Another problem you might have with this is even though it seems like it's working, because the tolerance is very wide, it can lead to poor fuel economy, or in my case, a complete failure, leading to a misfire in the engine. Now, even though it's difficult to figure out which one is real and which one is fake just by looking at it, you can use a multimeter and test resistance of these spark plugs. With a spark plug, there's actually a resistor inside the spark plug, and it typically measures between 4 to 7 kilo ohm. If you test the real one, you'll find that the resistance is very consistent, but if you test the fake one, the resistance is all over the place. So here I have a multimeter. I set this to measure resistance. Now let's go through and test a couple of these. These four right here are the real NGK. These four right here are the fake NGK. What you want to do is put one probe onto this end and then stick the other probe on the iridium tip. Now be very careful, you don't want to damage it, okay? So this measures 4.98 kilo ohm. Next one. This one is 5.16 kilo ohm. And this one is 5.15 kilo ohm. And this last one here is 4.83 kilo ohm. Now let's test the fake one. Hundred forty two kilo ohm, this four hundred and eighty kilo ohm, about five hundred kilo ohm, this one's forty four kilo ohm. Kilo ohm. So as you can see, the resistance on the fake one is all over the place. And that's why you're going to have problem with these when you install in your car. And while I'm testing this, I also have a failed one that I pulled out from the car. And let's go ahead and test this one. And see what measurement we get. This one is 24.9 kilo ohm. One more test I want to do is with this real NGK spark plug that was pulled out from the Elantra. This is the original spark plug from Hyundai. So let's take a look and see what resistance this one has after 130,000 miles. 3.9 kilo ohm. Again, it's within that 4 to 7 kilo ohm range. So even this old spark plug has a correct resistance. So with this video, I hope you'll learn from my mistake. And yes, I was trying to save some money and buy cheaper plugs online, but for the headache that I caused, it's definitely not worth it. Also, the spark plug is a critical component in your vehicle. So definitely something you don't want to take a chance and have engine problems down the road. So if you see online, somebody's selling four pack of spark plug for like 15, 20 bucks, for sure those are fake. These four real NGK spark plugs, I actually got from Advanced Auto Parts and they cost about 80 bucks. Anyways, if you have any questions or comments, leave one in the comment section. As always, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for watching this video. To support this channel, remember to click on thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell so you get notified of new videos.